to shoot you to get our joints off your feet. Now you've got folk that'll come hijack your car, all sitting on the corner, waiting on the red light to change up. They'll stick a gun in, put you out, amen, and drive down the street with your car. We're living in this hour that we're living in. And this is why, amen, God has given Bishop Patterson every year to have these divine protections because we're living in such a serious hour. We're living in a day that if you don't know God, it's time to get to know him. If you really don't know him, if you don't have him, it's time to have him. But the songwriter said it's better to have him and not need him than to need him and not have him. It's better to be able to call on him. Amen. Knowing that you might not need him to come than to call and he never show up. Amen. This is a serious hour that we're living in. We're living in a day that the world and America has changed things around. Now we're looking at, amen, at things, abortion clinics up, and things that are happening. And ever since the Supreme Court ruled in 73, January 22 of 1973, they rule up in Roe versus Wade and Doe versus Bolton, up, amen, that unborn human beings are not legal persons, up, according to the U.S. Supreme Court, up, and according to the U.S. Constitution in our society, amen, notice how the wisdom in this serious hour has been turned backwards. We have laws protecting wildlife. We have laws protecting dogs, but we don't have laws protecting unborn human beings. Amen. We've got laws to protect everything but a newborn baby. Notice, amen, it is even illegal for you to steal an eagle's eggs from its nest. You can be fined $5,000 or spend a year in jail. The eagles are protected by federal law. Amen. It's illegal to ship pregnant lobsters. You can be fined $6,000 or spend a year in jail. Amen. The Massachusetts Supreme Court ruled that goldfish cannot be awarded. Amen. As prizes in games of chance because it, amen, goes against the state anti-cruelty law. And since, amen, this saying in 73, the Supreme Court decision more than 17 million of unborn children have been killed up and murdered in America. That means every day an average of 4,257 babies are aborted in the U.S. Amen. 177 per minute. Three. Amen. Every minute. One every 10 seconds. And the Lord told us in Proverbs. Amen. There's six things that the Lord hate and seven are abomination unto him. And one was that with they that shed innocent blood. America. Amen. Has changed that attitude. Therefore, we're living in such a serious hour that children are missing. In America alone, there are 1.8 million children missing. Each day, 4,900 children are reported missing. 50,000 children are snatched annually. 5,000 are found dead while others aren't found at all. Children are being used as sex toys. Children are being used as games. Amen. Look like the more amen perverse our generation becomes. Look like the more people love it. For the police apprehended a man that was producing a guide that was called Where the Young Ones Are. And it listed 378 places in 54 cities and 34 states where a child could be found for sexual service. And in just 13 months, over 70,000 copies were sold for $5 a piece. Amen. They're grabbing our children, snatching them off the street, even using them as human sacrifices. And we must realize that this is not an hour of jesting. It's not an hour of joking. It's not an hour playing. But it is a serious hour. Amen. When you think of serious crimes that are being committed every day, 3.5 seconds, there's one crime committed. There's a robbery every 83 seconds. There's a murder every 27 minutes. Amen. Things are happening and little by little, look like the enemy is taking over in our world. And there's a reason for it, for the Bible said that the Lord said to them in the book of Deuteronomy, the sixth chapter, he said, amen, I'm the one that brought you. I'm the Lord God that brought you. Now, when I bring you into the land, that I promise your fathers, I promise Abraham, I promise Isaac and Jacob, and I give you good
goodly cities and, and I give you whales that you didn't dig and I give you olive trees and I give you all these good things and he said I'll tell you what I want you to do when you get all these blessings please don't forget me but when you look around people have forgot God amen we're slowly forgetting God we put God out of our programs and amen we told God take a hike amen we don't need you no more amen the world is in trouble and then people are beginning to say look I did this by my own power according to Deuteronomy 8 and 17 he said and thou shalt say in thine heart my power and my might and my hand have got me this wealth up look like the world is saying we've got it on our own we don't need God anymore and even the church seemed to be saying we've got our programs we've got our agendas up forget about the laws forget about alcoholics up forget about drug addicts forget about this one forget about that one up let's see what we can do let's fight over this up and fight over positions and fight over who's going to lead the choir let's fight over who's going to direct let's fight over who's going to be in charge and the world is going to hell but I stopped by here amen on Mississippi Boulevard to tell you today that we're living in a serious hour amen this is the time that the Lord said to the church and I'm soon going to quit he told us I'll tell you what I want you to do in Romans amen 13 11 through 12 he said and that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep for now is your salvation nearer than when you believe for the night is false spent the day is at hand let us cast off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light it's time to wake up it's time to shake ourselves it's time to tell God forget about all this other stuff amen we're going after the lost our young people are dying our society is is going to hell up and we've got to know that this is a serious hour that we're living in up for Jesus in Luke the 19th chapter the 41st verse up Jesus went to them and the Bible said and when he was come near he beheld the city and wept over it up, saying if thou had known even thou at least in this thy day the things which belongeth unto thy peace up, but now thou hid from thine eyes and this day shall come upon thee that thou enemy shall cast the trench about thee and compass thee round and keep thee in one up on every side up and they shall lay thee even the ground up and the children within thee and they shall not leave in thee one stone upon another because thou knewest not the time up of thy visitation up what are you trying to say the Lord's trying to visit us up amen we're not just having services up so you can see how you can dress up we're not just having Having services to see how you look up. We're not just having services of amen to see a man who can preach the best and who can sing the best and who can direct the best. And, but this is a serious hour, and the Lord said, I'm trying to visit you. I'm trying to give you something up that you can take to the world. Up. I'm trying to let you know that this is a time up that you need more than just a good dance and a shout, up, but you need power from on high. You need to be filled up, amen. And you need to be able to speak a word uh, to the alcoholic that will bring deliverance up. Uh, amen. But what the enemy has done is lured us to sleep up. Uh, amen. We're having fun having church up. Uh, did you hear what I said? Uh, we're having fun having church up. Uh, we're coming to church. Amen. Having a good time uh, but leaving and that's about it. Uh, but anytime you come to church uh, you need to say God this is the time of my visitation. Uh, I want you to visit me. I want you to speak to me. I want you to do something new for me. I just don't want to come to church and leave the same way I came up. But God do something on the inside. I want you to feel me. I want you to renew me. I want you to touch me afresh. I've got to have something from thee. Somebody lift your hands and tell the Lord to thank you. Amen. He said in Galatians, and I'm almost finished. Up in Galatians 3, oh foolish Galatians, up who have bewitched you that ye should not obey the truth. Up and then in the third verse, are ye so foolish? Up having begun in the spirit, up are ye now made perfect by the flesh? Up it's the serious hour that we're living in. Up for the Bible says in First Timothy chapter four, verse one. Up now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times, up that some shall 
depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils and speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. And don't you know we're living in the day of damnable doctrines? Amen. People are teaching everything but the right thing. Amen. People are following people and look like people you never thought would get off or off now. Amen. They went to teaching 